Hello everyone, here's a quick video for y'all. So today I'm gonna be comparing some different uh, alternative to priceempire.com. So of course we know priceempire.com. If you don't know yet, know what that is, then either this video is gonna be very useful or it's not gonna be useful for all at all. But basically we have priceempire.com and you have the comparison feature. And then right here you can choose different markets, compare this market with this market, choose some of these things, and then you can see how much profit we'll be making if I flip these skins. But what if there are other sites than priceandbuy.com? Because in the past, I've only been using priceandbuy.com, but recently I thought maybe there are more sites that can be useful. So in this video, I will just quickly show what sites I found. And I'm gonna, in real time, I've not yet used them. I'm gonna show you what do I think of it and are they good or are they not good? So I, what I did, I went to Google, I searched up CS2 compare prices like this. Then I clicked on all of these sites and then here I have only the, the three sites that I found that were actually, that actually could be useful. So first of all, we have the Steam Analysis, then we have Skin.Broker and we have SAH, Steam Inventory Helper. Now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to put the link in the description for all of these websites and uh, let's compare them to Price Empire and if this one should be useful. So uh, right off the bat, let's take a look at uh, Steam Analysis. Uh, I already looked at this one a little bit. Now, if you go on this site, you'll see you have Profit Generator and here you can, this is kind of like the comparison feature. And I think that this is the only comparison feature in this website. So when I first saw this, I thought, okay, this can be pretty good. I mean, it has some information, but when you take a look at it, you will see it's not actually that good. Because although you have some of these things include items, show no stock, you can only compare above this. You can only compare a few markets. Here you can also only compare a few markets. So is this gonna be better than Price Empire? It's probably gonna be worse. You can compare less markets plus less optimization than Price Empire. So this one right off the bat, I wouldn't recommend it. So we're not gonna use this. Then we have the second one, which is a skin broker, skin.broker. Well, this one can be a pretty good. What I mean with that is that this one has a lot of markets, as you can see. I think this is, has the majority of them. Majority is also here. What you can choose is this. You have the minimum price, the maximum price. You can choose the quantity and you can choose if you want from profit or biggest ROI. Then you can choose also the currency where there's a lot of choice. So that's also good. Now, one thing that I would miss is something like this, like the minimum quantity or the volume. And that isn't there because um, let's say I would put gamer pay to above buy order, then there is not exactly a way in order to choose the volume. So that's something which is a little bit less unfortunate. But the reason that uh, this site would be useful is because when I was on this site, there's something called C5 game. And at the moment, uh, I was checking this a few weeks ago, C5 game was not working. So instead I was looking for an alternative and in that, and then I found skin.broker and here C5 game does work. As you can see here we have C5 game. So actually this one would work, but the reason why skin.broker is really not useful is because you don't, you don't have the option to include the fees. So here it's 26% profit, but there's no fees. So I think that this one is also not useful. You can also blacklist, so I will see all these stickers. So I don't think that this comparison feature is useful. And I would recommend to go to the last one. So this is the last one, which is called Steam Inventory Helper. It's SIH.app. And I think this one can be very good. And I've used this for around 15 minutes to just check about how does this work. And I think this is the only one that is either the same as Price Empire, but I think this one can be better than Price Empire. Although there's one thing why this one can be a little bit worse. So the reason is priceempire.com is free. Although you do not have all the features, this one is paid, sh.black. So you need to go to sih.app and then you need to log in and you need to subscribe to this. Get Steam Inventory Helper Black from $2.33 per month. So it's only two and a half dollars per month, which is like nothing. And then you have access to everything. If you don't have this subscription, then it's not going to be worth using because you can only see skins up to $5. Next to that, you can only see a few marketplaces, but I think that this is something that you could realistically buy. 
So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to quickly show you how this works. And I think I'm going to, in the next week, next few weeks, I'm going to make a video where I've used this and I'm going to review it. I'm going to buy the subscription. It's only $2.30 per month. I'm not going to use it right now because I don't need it at this moment. But I will make a video about it where I review it in its fullest. But now let me just show you how this works and why I think this is so good. So what we can do is the following. So as you can see, we can start from the left here. So we have the Steam price. We can choose any Steam price. Now in this case, let's do one to five. We can also choose a market price, which will be the same as, um, as just choosing the Steam price. Then we can choose the profit value and we can choose the profit percentage. I think the profit percentage is uh, very useful because right now I can just say six, six to, for example, 10. And if we're on Price Empire, I can only choose, for example, five, 10 or 15. So th I think this is uh, a cool feature. Now, what else do we have here? We have include fees, which I think this thing is amazing. If you click on include fees, it will include the fees. And the reason why I think this is one is so good is you can just put in the deposit fees. So let's say 1% plus $5. 4% plus $4, you can put the sales fee, you can put the withdrawal fee like this, like this. So this is very useful. You can just put all the withdrawal fees for every single site, click on save, and then you will have the withdrawal fees for everything. Then you only have to do it one time and you will see exactly how much you're making. Because uh, right here, you cannot do the deposit or sales fee. You can only do a marketplace fee like this. So I think this is better than Price Empire. Then there is this show items with trade lock, which will just show items which are currently on a trade lock. And then how it will look, it will look like this. So you will see this little icon. I think this is pretty cool. Something that Price Empire doesn't have. Price Empire doesn't show trade lock. And sometimes when I'm flipping on sites, I can't see the item is trade locked. And then it's pretty annoying. So I think this is a good feature. And then we have show offers with a higher price than Steam. So basically if the Steam price is, for example, $1 and the price for, the, for this market, is um 90 no yeah 90 cents do you want to show that items so i think this is a little bit to combat combat inflated items um i don't really care about this show hidden offers i don't know what this does then you have weekly sales if i'm going to be honest i don't know uh, from what it gets the weekly sales so that's something that we should take a look at then items on the market is just how many items are on the market now, one cool thing that you can do is you can choose weapons. You can choose if you want, for example, only stickers, only patches, only this, only that. So I think that is pretty cool. Okay, so how does this actually work now? So you can see with the skin, with the name, we can copy the skin, add to search, hide this item, add to favorite. I believe that if you click on the skin, you can go to the platform automatically. One cool thing is that you can see the prices on every single market right here. So I can even see that it's cheaper on this market. I don't even know what this market is. Okay, it's not working. Um, one thing that I don't know is the sales in seven days. Is this a Steam sales or is this a combined sales? So I don't know what these sales is. So that's something that I would have to ask. Uh, if I know this, I will update you. If you join the Discord server, then I'm, uh, you can send me a message, ask me if I know this. Then what do we have is we have the markets. And this is pretty cool because what we can do here, as you can see, we have access to these nine markets right here. And then these markets are only with the subscription. So this is the reason why you need to buy the subscription. But take a look, what we can do is we can choose every single market. We can choose just, for example, these two markets. We can choose the Steam price, we can choose the live price. So we can choose a lot of different markets. And something the price buyer doesn't have is that you can only choose one market. And here you can choose multiple. So this is actually pretty cool. What you can also do is choose multiple markets to sell at. So I can right now choose, I want to buy at this side and this side. I want to sell at this side and this side. And what you will see is that it will show that I can sell at this side and at this side. So why I think this is so good is you can add the fees. You can add all the markets. And then you don't need to change all of these things all over again. You can just do one big preset. One, you will have one big list. You will go down the list and you will just click on every single item. And then you know exactly how much profit you make because you put in the things. And that's why I think this is so good. Now, if you want to get the SIH black, I don't know what you will need to do. You will either need to have some balance or you will need to pay with Stripe. I think Stripe is like bank transfer, but this is most of the time 
Uh, this is going to be only with credit card, but I'm not sure. Just try it out. And if you want to refill your balance, let me take a look at how that works. So you can do bank card, item pay, or cryptocurrency. Since it's only $2.50, I think item pay would be the best thing. I hope you find this video useful. Please subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to reach the 1,000 subscribers. Thank you.